As company bureaucrat, I will today be conducting the annual performance review. I assist the professor in whatever important research he happens to be engaged in. Couldn't we just fire you and have Fry or Bender fly the ship? Not if you stand on their air hose much longer. And that employee is... Hermes Conrad. What? I suppose you're here to tell me to pack it in? Only if you buy me dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> Bureaucrat Conrad, you are ordered to relieve yourself of duty. But I want you to know working here has been the experience of a lifetime. Off you go! You don't understand. He was the only one who cared enough to insult me. I insult you, you fat sack. Curried goat. It better be spicy. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Needs a little hot sauce. <gasps> this here's a muggin! Hand over your skin! My ebony splendor? Me don't think so. When I fight machinery, machinery always wins! Freeze, Bagwad! Stop! It's driving me sane! We need to talk. Alone. Okay, Hermes. Sure. Please, Fry. Leela punishes me when I don't use enough. I said not now! Sure. I hear you're an expert in the shadowy field of body augmentation. I am expert in shadowy field of many things. Pops? Is that a harpoon in your chest? Yes. And the best part is, the whole package fits neatly in the space where my giblets used to be. Oh, Mark 7G, would you mind fetching that cotton from the top shelf? My best. Wasn't good enough. I'll need my personnel file, please. I was leaning over the sink eating pureed clams when my teeth fell in the disposal. Oh no, no more implants. I don't want to end up a cold, emotionless machine like you. How long will it take to install an extendo arm? I have golf game in half hour, so half hour. Seems like a lot of trouble to cut off your arm just to snake a drain. What happened to your cut-off body parts, anyhow? Right here. So, friend, welcome to my home. I'm very proud of it. But I want to hear what you think. Done it! I'll be right back. <laughs> ah! Husband, some things were not meant to be Cyloned. Oh. Wow. I still have one thing no robot shall ever have. A good old flesh and blood human brain. Did you remember to save the trimmings for me? Yes, yes, doctor. Right here. Give it way up for Dr. Zarberg and little Hermes. Hello, hello. Seriously, though, have you lost weight? Yes. Looks like you found it again. I'll be here all week. You've been warned, people. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. That meat puppet disgusts me. It's time for the ultimate upgrade. Let's exhuma zoom zoom. Step aside. <laughs> Open the dome and unleash the power of the heavens! Now I can see what I'm doing. Commence the operation! Terminate the operation! You can't be a husband and father if you don't have a wife and son. I can't do this, Hermes. Your wife's moving pleas made me realize you might have litigious survivors. You can't force me to operate! Maybe not, but perhaps I can encourage you! Give me that robot brain! And you, metal guy, lie down! Zoidberg, this makes no sense! Let's see if he feels pain! A brand new brain! It might drive him inside! He wants a brain! Oh, Zoidberg, what have you done? I'll tell you what I've done! I've brought your husband back! Wife, son, I am so sorry! Once I started upgrading myself, I lost all control. Not so fast! Oh. But faster than that! <laughs> and I'ma stick him in your pancreas till I find one that opens it! <laughs> <laughs> God, Zoidberg didn't reattach my nerves! 
Hmm. That's tasty. You were selfish and stupid, and you don't deserve a wife like La Barbara or a friend like me. <laughs> hey, guys! It's great to see so many happy smiles. Most of them on Mouth Mutant. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with your honesty and humility, and those things never mutated. Mm. She, a brilliant exolinguistics major. He, a laid-back sewer surfer. And like the fairy tale of face mutant and butt mutant, the love of Munda and Morris has grown stronger every day. I never got why you studied that alien junk anyway. We can't even see the stars down here in the sewer. Why can't you accept that? I had dreams too. I was gonna surf the world's sewers, but I happily gave it up for you. Happily! We're having a little lover's quarrel, but I'm sure you'll work everything Divorce is final. Let's go out. After 40 years, I want to see the world. Oh, what the heck? You want to go out? Well, I lost two straight hands to the Borax Kid. I don't really have any use for these, but you can't have them back. Dad Brannigan, the famous space captain. Hey, I have an idea. Let's look in a different direction at something else. In exchange for your promise not to attack us, we will grant you exclusive fishing rights in Super Nova Scotia. Now watch, Kiff, as I score a diplomatic coup by congratulating the Admiral in his native tongue. Uh, yeah! I'd like to spank your sister with a slice of bologna. Uh, <laughs> oops. What are you doing? What I was trained to do. We can put it on the corporate card as long as we discuss business. So, uh, yesterday, huh? <laughs> Woo! Nasty! Zap's a perfect gentleman, and so handsome. Did you know he wears a velour man skirt? Ugh. This isn't a competition, although he did say I'm a better kisser. I am not jealous! Zap hired me as his personal translator. I'll be with him all the time, in space! What? Thank you for coming. You know, without your mother, the sewer's a dank and dismal place. Didn't you always want to surf the world's greatest sewers? Yeah, and Fry and Bender can go with you. Let's go surf the great sewer waves of the world! Have you been? What? It's two in the afternoon. Several days later. Look, enough is enough. Zap is a jerk. This one is for the E. coli. Oh! And this one's for the leprechaunaria. Hiddly day! When you're down there riding the waves, the wind ripening in your face, everything just makes sense, dude. I was wondering if you'd like to have dinner tonight with me and my mom. You know, to celebrate your genuine love for her. Sounds good. Nice to see you, Zap. Well, nice to see a surprising amount of you too, Leela. Is uh, Munda here? Come on, I'm all yours. Have your way with me for the next 30 seconds. That would be more than enough time, but I can't. Here, in front of your half-naked daughter, seems like the perfect time. Darling, there's no need to call me names, Leela. Just call me Daddy. Ah! If we don't do something, Mom's gonna marry Zap Bran again. So? He seems like a nice kahuna. Dad! There'll be chicken or fish circle one. I can't. Not when I believe with all my heart that this marriage is a mistake. <laughs> oh, Mom. I'm sorry I've been so horrible to you. Ah, uh, you weren't so horrible. Honored guests and Kiff. One of a captain's many superpowers is the ability to conduct marriage. <laughs> It's the Corcoran! Oh, meatballs. I forgot they were coming to sign the peace treaty today. Zap, honey, this is the wrong document. It's not a peace treaty. It says they're declaring war on us. Brilliant, isn't I? I come from the sewer, but that is low. I'm not going to translate your lies. Munda, dear. Uh, careful, that's glass. Leela was right. You're a lousy man and a lousy captain. Kiff, return fire and the cake. 
Our weapons are disabled and you can't return ice cream cakes! We're doomed! Do I know you? Ooh. Dad, I thought you were all zen with Mom getting remarried. It's time to hang 20! Morris, what are you doing? Hold on to your coconuts! If heaven's above us, then the whole universe is just God's glorious sewer! Who do we blame? We don't blame anyone. We make peace. One word can end this. Then say it. This actual peace treaty is hereby enacted. Well, I am still in my wedding dress. And we still have a cake. Oh, uh, half a cake. <clears throat>